Hello and welcome to this week's episode. Right, as you can see behind me, scaffolding. We are going solar. Welcome. So this is what is happening at the minute. The connections are happening. And this is a local company doing it. It's always good to go local so that you can support your local companies. So we are now working on the AC side before the panels go over. And the company that I'm dealing with is a company called Carter Electricals, which is my local company. Here they are. That's the company, so you can use them. You know, if you are in the Cambridge area, they are based in Peterborough. All is good. Don't look this way, Dale. <laughs> right. I'll just film the, the panels. Yeah. So these are the bad boys going on. And the scaffolding is up there. This is where we are with the scaffolding. So they are going to be using that to go up there. It's one level to do. It's one level. So they'll use that to go up there and put the panels. I've only got four panels on and there is the rail for the panels there. Progress. Right. So everything is coming from the same one, um, the heat pump one. So we're putting an isolator in there. And yeah, the cable, cable run is there at the bottom. As we continue, right at the bottom there. And yeah, there's been progress in the couple of hours. And we now have the bad boy is on. There it is. Oh, fantastic. And there's some isolators there. These are isolators, right? Yeah, they're the DC string isolators. Okay. DC ones here. And you have an AC one over here. Then AC one will go over there. Yeah. Cool. And the cables will be coming. Yeah, we'll put a couple, well, a couple of these running down the wall, mm -hmm. and they'll hop up onto the roof. Yeah. And that's the bottom there. Oh. By these, they are huge. Yeah, big, they? they are unbelievably big. You know, two point, I think two three three three, I think. Yeah. So 2.3 meters and 1.1. And they are 600 watts. And yeah. So hopefully, you know, it will manage to start it up. But that's a, a 40 volt startup for the MPPT. So. Right. Day one is complete so this is where we are the panels are still here but all the wiring has been done all the wiring has been done so this is where we are from day one so most of the wiring has been done and i'll go to the front sorry you see me in a new haircut it's because i've had a, a haircut whilst they were working so let's have a look at this side of things. So the wiring and the meter, yeah. There, everything has been done. It's in there. And the smart meter as well is in there. And the cable is there. We did have one problem. We did have a problem, as everything does. You always have something that props up, you know, and surprises you. So, we did have a problem where I initially 
thought we could run the cable in there but it appears inside there it's blocked it's blocked and we tried the other side as well the receiving side we tried the receiving side there and I can just see water in there as well we tried in there as well and it didn't it didn't work so the only way we could do it instead of having cables running from the house to the garage we've had to put it down here on the floor so I might get a, a bigger cable so that we don't trip from from here so the panels are due to go in tomorrow um, and a bit of rain in the air as well so I might need to put these things back again but yeah looking at everything in there that's day one so tomorrow it's more to do with putting these up in the air these gigantic things up in the air and yeah the sun has come out as well this is day two now we are going through day two and yeah the sun has come out hopefully when the panels are going up the sun will still be shining but here we are day two Let's see the panels when they are opened. Oh, there they are. Look at these. I would have loved them to be all black, but they were not all black. They've got a bit of silver on the edges. They are amazing. They look gorgeous. Right. These are 600 watts. J.A. Solar Panels So when big Progress, progress, progress. This side setup is up. It's there. And all the bad blocking is also been put as well. I'm not sure if you can see that. Could I have got away with three there? Nah. Not with the regulations. Right, this is the north, it's the northeast facing, but as you can see, they are getting a bit of the sun which is out there so that's why i've put them on you know definitely so that they can at least capture whatever they do in the summer that will be good enough hello Welcome again, day two is done. As you can see, the panels are on, the scaffolding is gone. So both sides, this is the northeast side and the other side is the southeast. So let me take you through. And yeah, the scaffolding is down. So tomorrow, this is day two, uh, tomorrow we have the commissioning day. Tomorrow that's when we are commissioning everything and everything is now up there there two panels tomorrow is commissioning day that's all that is there now to do just to commission it and hopefully it should be done half a day tomorrow all is good hello good people 
Right, you join me now on day five. On Monday, they did the electrics. Then on Tuesday, they did the, the panels. On Wednesday, it was meant to be commissioning and we ran into some difficulties. But today, on day five, they didn't come in yesterday. Day five, we now have, I'll tell you more in the next episode what happened. Now is day five and we have been commissioned. We commissioned at around 1.30 on, on the 14th of March. 14th of March, 2025, that's the commission day and the solar panels are now generating. This is the winter sun, we're still in winter, but they are now generating. I'll show you what they are doing on the side here already, but let me show you the system itself and explain a bit more. So let me go like that again. There are the other two. So they do look like four panels, but there's only two panels. They are massive, they're 600 watts JA solar panels i do apologize um my mic is playing up now so i'll do a narration on this one so this is the setup i i apologize for the mess in the garage but yeah this is the setup here the 368 kilowatt inverter there these are the two dc isolator switches there and the line from the grid uh, that line going in there and the Wi-Fi dongle there that is uh, connecting everything that is coming through the app as well and that's the inverter there and on the left hand side of this setup that's where we have our AC connectors there and the generation meter is there on the right of your screen you can see the app you know I'm playing around with the app there it's very easy to use the app and as you can see my generation I'm currently uh, generating uh, 400 watts and today I've generated 1.9 kilowatt hours there so yeah the grid has received about 600 watts from myself and yeah thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video take care bye